Hi, Greg. How are you? I'm John. Hey, nice to meet I'm, you, John. I'm here to learn about this uh, 175 today. Excellent. I'm wondering uh, if you can tell me a little bit about it. Okay. We well, appreciate you coming in, first of all. Um, this is our Bayliner 175. This is our most popular bow rider that we sell. Um, we ordered it with a galvanized trailer. Uh, it's uh, almost 7 feet in the beam. It holds 21 gallons of gas. It uh, has right around 100 mile range at cruise. Um, and it's equipped with a 3 liter Mer Cruiser, which is our most dependable uh, inboard outboard. Um, everything on the boat, you can see right here, uh, it has a nice high quality gel coat. We have uh, a nice uh, rub rail here. Cleats, horns up front with the nav lights. We usually, cut, we usually order them with the swing away trailer, which will fit in a two car garage. Um, in the back here, we're going to show you we have the. Uh, the stern drive with the Alpha One drive system, and it's all zinc protected. This boat is built for salt water, so this is a salt water boat. You don't have to worry about anything underneath falling apart. Um, we have tie-down straps in the back, and then when we get onto the boat, you'll see some of the different features that it offers. Okay. Um, let's start at the very stern. Yeah, but you have your ski tow ring here. Okay. So let's see, all the kids on the tube, you want to pull a skier, a wakeboarder. Um, this little receptacle will hold your stern, your nav, or your uh, stern light there. We have a telescope and uh, swim ladder there as well. Um, and this is a 2009 model. You can see how it goes in and out nice and easy. This rubber grommet will hold it down. Um, we have the plug out of the boat right now, and that's what that is. But um, this is a 2009 model, and they've made a few changes with this model. They've actually put the uh, engine compartment on hinges, so that makes it nice and easy. We have rams to hold it up. Here is the, uh, the engine right here. And you can see what's nice about the Merc Cruiser is everything's color-coded. If you can get up here, I'll show you. Right here on top of uh, the flame arrestor. Yeah. There you go. You in? I'm in. Okay. Right here on top of the flame restroom, you'll see everything's color coded. So you have your engine oil is yellow. So your fill is right here. Your dipstick's down here. The uh, drive lube is black, and there'll be an operating range. That's where that is. Um, the power steering fluid, uh, with this boat was equipped with it, would be right here. On a three liter, that's really not necessary. The cable steer is just fine. This is a block drain to drain the block or the manifold. Um, behind here, it's going to be easy access to your battery. So on the starboard side, you will access your battery and all your terminals are right there. These two clips will hold on this cover and this just pops back down in. Underneath here, we have storage. So the storage in the, under this seat and on the port side as well. So Same thing over here? Yep, same thing over okay. here. So yeah, well, well, no, you don't. Actually, this one just... Snaps down, down. Okay. snaps down. And then behind this one is going to access your fuel tank. And your sending units right there. Okay. The fuel tube goes to this side of the boat. Okay. Um, it has a marine grade stereo, Jensen stereo on it. Okay. And you'll see that right there. Here's the head unit. Well, what Bayliner was innovative this way. They have uh, they were one of the first companies to go away from a CD stereo in a boat, um, which doesn't tend to hold up nearly as long as this. You'll see it has an auxiliary with an MP3 jack, uh, a little glove compartment here, and in a 12-volt receptacle as well. So you can charge your cell phone, use a spotlight, whatever you needed that for. Cool. Down here is our ski locker. And it stepped down drains to the bilge. Um, there is actually more storage up forward than that way. I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, but you can fit your skis, your knee board, all your life jackets. All, there's tons of storage down here in the belly of the building. Captain's chair, as you can see, swivels. It goes forward and back and swivels around. Um, we have uh, the bow area up here. This boat is rated for seven people. Let me go first. <laughs> And uh, again, storage under both sides here. Now this is a tight fit, so you won't lose these cushions. And our storage port and starboard here. Every seat on the boat has a cup holder. Got them important drink holders. Got to love does. that. Everywhere you sit, there's a cup holder within arm's reach. Um, let's get here to the gauges in the helm area. 
<coughs> you have um, you have your voltmeter, your temperature gauge, mile per hour. Your trim gauge will tell you the position in your drive, which is nice. Um, also, RPM gauge, oil pressure, and fuel. Um, there is an accessory switch that's left blank, so if you wanted to add something uh, as far as a depth finder or something, you can fuse protect it by, by running it to that switch. Um, the horn, nav anchor light, lower is here, and bilge pump. The bilge pump can be turned on manually. And we have all our safety warning stickers that, that uh, tell you uh, what you need to know, which I go over with you verbally during the delivery about running the blower and carbon monoxide warnings and that's that kind of thing. I yeah. like it, but I don't see any prices on the boat. How do I how do I know how much this boat's going to cost well, me? Well, when we get to my desk, we'll oh. talk about that. Oh, well, just want to know. <laughs> um, you get me all excited and I don't know whether, whether I can afford this boat or not. Well, how much can you afford? Well, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm a payment buyer. I may need to, okay. you know, look at my monthly expenses and see if this is for me. Okay. What's it, what, what kind of monthly payment would you be comfortable with? Uh, maybe 200 a month. Well, I, I think I can get you. I can get you in that 200 a month range. Well, great. Let's, Let's go to your desk and have a seat. Okay. Thanks. Thank you.